Hi, my name is Ray Pearson. I work for the William T. Spader Company. I'm here today with a residential customer doing preventative maintenance on their AC system. Now I'm going to take the panel off to look at the electronics to make sure that nothing's in there like spider webs, uh, chipmunk mice, make sure that the wiring is good. A lot of times they get damaged by doing landscaping. I'm pulling the disconnect for safety because I have my hands in here. I'm going to check the contactor, make sure that they're not pitted, burnt. I'm going to make sure that all the wiring is safe and it's not going to burn up anything. I'm also checking the capacitor. Making sure it's not leaking, rusty. Making sure water's not getting any electronics where it shouldn't be. Everything looks good, just a little bit dusty, and that's fine. This is a refrigerant gauge. It tells me pressures, and it'll tell me a lot of things. It'll tell me if it's low in refrigerant. If it's low in refrigerant, they could have a possible leak. It'll also tell me how much refrigerant's in the unit. It'll also tell me if the coils are plugged or dirty, like the evaporator coil that's in on top of the furnace. I set up my gauges just to get ready and to turn on the system. I looked at the unit, the unit is dirty, so my head pressure is gonna be high. So we're gonna go in and check the filter real quick, make sure that the filter's good, kind of do a quick inspection of the furnace, and then I'm gonna come up, turn on the AC on the, at the thermostat and crank it way down so I can get my testing done. And then I will do my final inspection on the furnace when I'm done. Basically, I'm just gonna pull the filter out, check the filter, make sure to see how it's been doing for six months. This is a six month filter. Most filters that are smaller, we recommend changing them every month or every three months, depending on your home and if you have dogs, cats. Um, depends on your allergies too. I like changing the filter before I do my testing. That way I know that it's not gonna affect my testing out on my pressure side. Basically what I'm doing is I'm checking the manufacturer specifications on their charging chart make sure that it matches what I'm doing and what I'm testing. They have a general rule, but always go back to the manufacturer. Every system's different from brand to brand. They're all gonna run a little bit different, a little bit higher pressure, a little bit lower pressure. I found that this coil is actually pretty dirty. Uh, as of right now, it's not sending my pressures way high, but it does affect what is going on with my gauges. It's starting to stable out pretty well longer it runs. So overall, the system's running properly. It seems to be sized properly. It seems to be fit for the home. Um, I hear no uh, abnormal sounds, noises. I don't see anything that's poking out at me that something's wrong with it. So while it's running, I'm listening for abnormal noises. I'm looking for water leaking because we're running the AC right at the moment. I usually wipe it down just to get acquainted to the unit, just to find out what's, what they have, what's going on. Usually I find deficiencies or anything wrong just by wiping it down with a simple hand towel. I did find uh, the door switch right here, the bottom door. You see it actually shut off right there. Um, this one's actually stripped this screw, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take these screws out and I'm gonna re-drill new screws in so that does not shut off. I did find a little bit of a condensation leak on the suction side of the line set there. I'll wrap it up with some cork tape so it won't leak on the floor anymore, damaging the floor. Other than that, the system looks really good. It's in good shape, just needs a little bit of cleaning. I encourage my customers to do at least once a month, especially when it's sitting outside. When these coils are dirty, it doesn't want to cool the properly the way it should. We found a few things that were a problem. First problem was the condenser was dirty. Second. We found that the door switch downstairs, the screws were stripped. We also found a insulation problem on the suction line of the insulation. So it was leaking water onto the floor. 
could be a potential hazard or a concern of the customer. I installed new screws so the door switch and the safety switch would not shut off. Second, I re-insulated the suction line downstairs to help with the water issue. We replaced the filter. We also checked our pressures. And we also cleaned the condenser outside. It's a standard cleaning check for an AC system. Should be done once a year. Also, we should see you once a year for your furnace to check your furnace out.